This message is to you from another man. Check, check. Walking the same earth. Am I recording? Breathing the same air. Wow. Gosh. I don't remember the stars. I don't know how to describe it, do you? Stars. Amazing houses. Houses of God, which an angel arouses to a twinkling nod. The sheer volume of points of light that radiate above me is you know, mind-blowing. Part of the great mystery. I can't help but think of myself as a tiny speck of sand in this glorious universe. A lot of people get really intimidated by the amount of stars in the sky. They are mind-boggling. It makes them feel really small. They are a mere speck. And they're hard to understand. So much fun. And the uh, next question I prefer uh, not to think about. It makes me too sad. I think that the stars are such a source of comfort. And they're always up there for us to tell our secrets to and to guide us. That vault of heaven above, forever expanding. It's such a reflection of who we should become. Limitless, infinite, and eternal. If this was the last night, you could see the stars in a thousand years. I hope people would remember. And I hope you remember. remember them as something that was placed there billions of years ago by a God that loves you. The heavens foretell the glory Just of so God. beautiful. Absolutely. Pretty. Gorgeous. Their memory looks on you. Look up at this glorious sky and marvel at its wonder. That's it. Thanks. That's it. When you look at the stars, look at them as my own infinite divine vast nature. If the stars should appear one night in a thousand years... And one night... I hope you can also raise your head How would men believe and adore like I do right now and preserve for many generations the remembrance of the city of God which has been and see the sky full of stars with your own eyes. But every night come out these envoys of beauty and light the universe with their admonishing smile. Amen. Yes.